All right, Ian. Wow, look yes. look what's happened. We talk about game prices uh, being static forever, and, and we always talk about should they be charging more for for games. And look what's happening with the next generation. The indications are that the next gen PS5, new Xbox Series X that you love name. Uh, at least the first game we know about, the NBA two, uh, 2K21 is going to have a recommended MSRP of $70 up from 60 And that's the first one we know about, and I guarantee you we're going to have other games follow suit after this going forward. I think we will too. And um, maybe it's just my desire to try to see the good somewhere. I was initially kind of excited because this is, <laughs> I don't actually want to pay more, but this is something I've been saying for a long time is that if you're going to microtransaction the shit out of a game because you can no longer sell that game for $60 and make the money back, then charge more for it. Um, you know, it, 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 I've said this, it, it, it's, it, it's, it's like this in all sorts of different industries. Not all board games cost the same amount. Uh, not all albums cost the same amount. You have to think about the packaging, how much is included, how much time it's taken. Um, you know, very few things uh, have, you know, a one price fits all um, yeah. pricing scheme. But obviously immediately after seeing this happen i go oh the first game is nba 2k21 you know for a fact they're not going to dial down the amount of you know microtransactions uh, in nba 2k i no. mean the series is entirely i mean the, the series is probably known more now for its microtransactions than it is for actually having a decent quality gameplay engine in it which it does it's just obfuscated you know by all this bullshit um so now it just seems you know I don't know. Cynical. We're going to charge you $10 more for a game and we're going to make sure that we charge you a billion dollars in microtransactions if you want to progress anything. And it's kind of sad and annoying, but I, I mean, in Well, general, you didn't expect them to get rid of the DLC ever. No, no, I, oh. I didn't. I, I, I'm just saying like, that's what I would expect eventually if prices creep upwards is that you might see people pricing the game relevant to the amount of uh, content in it. What I'm saying is seeing that the prices are going up and then immediately seeing that it's NBA 2K21. No, I didn't expect that series to ever get rid of its DLC. And I don't expect DLC to go away. Um, but I do think DLC kind of came about as a refusal of the video game market to um, adjust its prices. Now they're adjusting the prices, but we're also used to DLC that it's not going to go anywhere. So, okay, I, have a, I always love these charts for these releases. I'm looking at the 2K21 tw tw uh, chart. So, the current generation version, you're basically going to get two different versions of this game. The current generation version is going to be available for PS4, Xbox One, uh, PC, Stadia, and uh, what does NSW stand for? Nintendo Switch. Oh, oh, Switch is getting it. Okay, I didn't know. I never saw it being being done that way as as a as short as N NSW. Okay, that, that threw me off. Like, what the hell is NSW? Men's Warehouse. I've never okay. seen that either. Okay, that instead of just Switch, it's like you might put Switch down there because you have Stadia there. Okay, so you're gonna get those. Uh, it's gonna be sixty dollars for the regular version, and the Mamba Forever Edition with whatever extra crap you get on there um, is is gonna be a hundred. Okay. The 2K21 next generation, that's coming holidays. That's later because when the console has to come out first. So you're going to get the September one is going to be the current generation, which I guess will be not as good stuff. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> not as good But stuff. built for next gen says unbeatable graphic fidelity. I would argue that the PC version should keep up with the consoles like because the you know, PC, you can always get the, the latest and greatest. Uh, two second load speeds. If you have a solid state hard drive, you should get that on your computer as well. Um, new gameplay features, expanded game modes. So they're going to be different gameplay features and expanded game modes on the consoles that you're not going to get in the PC version, even if the PC version will look will look as, as good. That's going to be holiday 2020. That's going to be 70 bucks, or still only 100, only 100 for the Mamba Forever. So buy more and save because the Mamba Forever edition will be the same for the next gen as the current gen. So they are making in some gameplay mode different differences here as well, not just graphics. There. They're, they are they are going to try to justify the extra value of it the value of 10 extra oh, dollars. that's good that's good good for them <laughs>
Uh, the Mama Forever one, obviously, they're going to pull on people's heartstrings, so everyone's going to buy the Mama Forever. I keep Forever thinking you're saying Mama Forever. Mamba, Mamba. Forever. Yeah. Mamba, yes. I mean, who's Mamba. not going to, who's the, what Laker fan's not going to buy that version of the game? I mean, it's they're, true. They're going to they're gonna take away your, your Laker status if you don't buy that version uh, there. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to be in a weird spot, especially for the next, I'd say, year. If it's going to be hard to ramp up production on the new Xboxes and the new PS5s. How many of the new games are going to have these split editions where they're going to have, they're going to try to split out gameplay modes for the, the new version? I mean, we've seen it on other, obviously, past console iterations, but if they're going to justify the $10 price hike, they're going to have to obviously have more than just, well, we got better graphics. We'll put an extra mode. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what the next first person shooters next year, you know, what differences they have between the two versions. Cause I don't, I, sure. don't, I, don't I, I think, you know, a great one would be to see what call of duty does different between generations. Cause when call of duty leaves behind the previous generation, that's kind of when everything moves on, especially since we don't know what the hell these consoles are going to cost. Um, yeah, no, we still have no clue. So I, I don't I picture adoption being fast and furious. If I just bought my um, Xbox, you know, a one pro or whatever or ps1 i get confused ps4 pro xbox ps4 pro xbox one x if i just bought those within the past year i'm not, not showing an xbox at, series x i'm not showing out 500 bucks to get a get a graphical upgrade most people don't have the money to do that we're gonna hold on i'm gonna hold on to my ps4 for another two three years you know until you really make it hard to, to you know, stay with this. If all the exclusives are now only on the PS5, then yeah, I'm going to have to come on over. Well, I know you play a lot of games this generation. It's the general. A lot of PS- it's the general. You played me, a lot Ian. of PlayStation it's, Four games. It's the ro- it's the royal me, Ian. Oh, okay. Yoshi just came and picked up his PS4 with Spider Man. Oh, actually, no, I I, I lost to Spider Man, and then I found I, I got to mail it to him. <laughs> you are a piece of work. How am I a piece of work? Piece of work. Never played that Spider Man. No, I didn't. Have, I, Honestly, it doesn't. It, I don't. I, you know how many Spider-Man games I played out of all of them? Um, I, I, I think I played them the most, probably the Super Nintendo era and like arcade era. Well, last time I played it was a Sega a Spider-Man arcade game with you, which you never played before. So I was shocked that and you, you said, "Oh, this game's awesome!" I'm like, yeah, it is. Never came out anywhere, but it's awesome. I play. Uh, I've played like no X-Men games, and I'm a big X-Men fan, so. Well, you can't. It's harder to screw up an X Men game because Spider Man is the web. If you can't get the web uh, slinging right, and you know you you, you can't have a Spider Man game, and most of them fuck it up. And then I remember I remember playing the first PS One one back in the day. I was like, okay, this is not that good. But then they did that sequel that was really good, right? Spider Man Two. Like, wow, they finally no, that 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 was PlayStation Two. That was PS Two. Yeah. Well, they finally got it right though. They finally got wow, this seems pretty nice. You know, swinging around the city and it's kind of open. I'm like, okay, that's cool. But then it seems like they hadn't, didn't get it right again until what? Until this last version came out. Patrick, tell me about Quibi. Okay, we're already off of that. Yep. Nice, uh, nice. No, that's not, that's an awful ending to the topic. So, <laughs> like, what the hell are you doing to me, Ian? You're killing me. So, all right. So, game price up to seventy bucks. Um, it's not a shock. With, with inflation, you're still getting a deal versus you know games twenty years ago. And looking back, I spent eighty bucks plus tax for Street Fighter Two at Capcom World in 92 so games have, are still way less what they used to cost and other oh, super, yeah, they were. and other super Nintendo yeah. genesis games cost more cost 60 bucks or more back then R- the rpgs nobunaga's ambition on the nes cost more because it cost actually cost more than make you know there were games back then that cost more than even 40 50 bucks back then so yeah I, i've talked about it on here before that i uh that um we got a copy of Mario Kart 64 and once at the store that still had like I think the Walmart price tag on it. It was seventy four ninety nine. Was it really? People, yeah, people love to make those you know claims that video games weren't you know always this expensive, but they were, if well, not more so. Nintendo's expensive carts. You had to keep. You had to keep with the cartridges. Nintendo. You had to make it hard for emulation for me to do a certain N sixty four guidebook. You couldn't just go to. Couldn't just uh, you know go to a disc. 